Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I worked with uh, Officer Green's son when we were in patrol together. He was in the gang task force while I was working narcotics division and we worked together there. Out here we're just targeting street level dope dealers, uh, making traffic stops on minor violations. Yeah, I met Matt Pearson uh, probably my first year during the police department, never a dull moment with him. Sergeant McPherson. We got this vehicle in front of us here. The tag is sitting kind of wopsided on it. It may, and it's about to fall off the vehicle here. We're gonna make a traffic stop once we get out of the housing development here just to see what the deal may be. Delta 1566, give me a call on your primary 5574. Car 133. The vehicle appears to be occupied three times. Roll me at my cell phone, car 311. The, the right back passenger stuffed something, looks like down between the seat. See your hand, fellas. Let me see your hands. Pull your window down, Phil. Okay. Is there a reason I stopped you? Your tag is about to uh, come off your vehicle here. Also, uh, we ran the tag and it's coming back, not on foul. Is uh, this your vehicle? No, sir. Do you have any driver's license? Yes, sir. Have you been smoking marijuana? Earlier, sir. Okay. Yeah, I have a, a strong odor coming out of the vehicle here of marijuana. Do me a favor, sir. I need you to turn the vehicle off for me, and uh, you can step out for me. Uh, you on the back, put your hands on the back seat there for me, and you put yours on the dash, sir. Put your hands right here for me. I need you to kick your feet back. I'm asking you, uh, you have any weapons or narcotics on you? Is there any in the vehicle? Not that you know of. No marijuana or anything like that that you were smoking earlier? You have a driver's license, sir? I see him, please. Okay. I need you to step back here for me. You, you can just, just place your hands right here for me, just for safe. Who does the vehicle come back to? Your friend's girlfriend? Hey, how you doing, man? I need you to step back here for me. Uh, just, we're just gonna pat you down for it. <laughs> Roll over. Roll over. Watch them, Kurt. Get on the radio. Uh, man. I'm gonna be calm. Let me roll over. Huh? Let me be calm. No, you be real calm. You understand? Don't you, I'm, I don't, listen. Mama be calm. I know you are. What, I'm, I'm gonna roll you over. I'm gonna roll you over. And don't you, don't you, hold on a minute. Give me your hand. Roll over for me. Put your hand behind your back. Give me your other hand. Why you run, man? Huh? Watch that in the back seat, Kurt. Stand up for her. You got some drugs on you? 
Huh? Where do you have them, sir? In your pocket. In which pocket? Well, yeah, you under arrest anyway for running. Okay. Curtis, we got a gun. We got a gun right here. Got a weapon. Don't you just hold you. Be still. Be still, all right? Where's the drugs at? He said he had some drug dope on him. That's what he told me he had drugs on him. I found the weapon, but I don't know. He had on two or three pair of pants, and that's common for them to, to store them in at least one other pair of their pants. Hello. Okay. This is a uh, marijuana we recovered off the party that tried to run from us that had the weapon on it. Andre, do you have any weapons or narcotics on you? It's okay if I look. Found a little bit of marijuana here. We're gonna take you to jail for possession of marijuana, okay? Sir, is there anything, any other narcotics on you? You don't have any weapons or anything hit anywhere, do you? Okay, I appreciate your cooperation. Okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and transport him. Yates and the other guys from Street Crimes are gonna meet us at the jail, so they'll help us knock this out right quick. What do you, what you need out of here? Huh? No, I'm sorry. He just came picking me up from my house. It's at least 26th Street, not too long ago, about an hour ago. Uh, you told me y'all had been smoking marijuana. How long ago was that? That was about an hour ago before we left my house, sir. Whose uh, quarter beer is that in there? That's his. Okay. Andre's? I don't know. They had before I even got in the car. Okay. All right. Well, we, we run the ID and checking a few other things. Yes, and sir. Since you do have a valid driver's license, we may let you go, but we are touring the vehicle. Okay, I can get a ride, sir. Since he uh, was saying that it belongs to his girlfriend and she's out of town. Okay. This weapon was found on the party's uh, possession. It ran from us. Uh, looks like it's 25 or either 22 bullets right here. He had, he had this in his uh, crouch area. Sometimes they use that as concealment. You know, dangerous for us to come across. Prepaid legal service, $25 a month. Well, we're waiting on the This is good to have somebody on retainer. He's going to need him. Appreciate it, bro. Hey, no problem. Right. Lori and I work together probably four or five times a month. We get paired up, and this job's kind of a love hate job. It's uh, You love it, but yet you see a lot of good with the bad. And, Sometimes uh, more good comes out of it than the bad. We have a lot of fun together. We do have a lot of fun, and uh, like I said, we know what each other's thinking. It's a good time out here. In this job, you have to have a good partner that you get along with. Um, you have to kind of know each other's styles and uh, kind of know what, you, you know, what each one's going to do. 332. 32. You know, the domestic, the female half there is uh, breaking out windows to the house. Um, dispatchers advise there is a domestic at a residence. Um, apparently, the male half is breaking out windows, um, and that's all the information we have. Uh, it's unknown if the male half even lives there or belongs there. Got a bunch of broken glass right here. Uh, we got some broken glass right here. Looks like, I don't know if that's blood or what. 321. Where's he at? Yep, that's blood. He's in my couch. 
Any weapons in your house? Hi. What's going on? We got some windows. The door, so out the window. Your hand's pretty messed up there. You need a rescue unit there? No. I, I, Let me see your hand. I brought that window in the house, you know. Okay. Well, I asked him to move one of his cars out of my driveway. Hidden. He got irate because he's on, he's drinking beer. Okay. He gets mean when he drinks beer. Okay. And All he, I asked him to do was take a car out of my driveway. He did that. He called me. You live here? He called me. I said, All right, bye. And he came up here. He knocked on the door once. I went to the door. He went to his car, got the jacket, threw the window, it went. Any other and windows? I called 911 and I hung up. Just that window? And they called back. Just Uno, Ventana? No, no there's two windows. Sit, sit, sit. Thank you. Just Uno. He only broke out one window. There's two windows two in that place. I left it. Okay. Does he have, who is this guy? Does he have an ID or anything? Get an identification? I lied. No. Does he have any warrants or anything? No. Okay, what's his name? Tell him your name. Name is Poncho. Poncho? Poncho. Is that your legal name? You don't have any kind of, of identification. No. Do you, have a, do you drive? No, no. Do you drive a car? No. Okay. Okay. All right. These cars are his friends. This is mine. Okay. Uh, I not touch the grow. I not touch the case. And I love it too much. It's my family, you know. Okay. It's too much beer. How long have you been with him? Almost two years. I've been here before. Yeah, Marty. Do you think it's smart to punch out windows in front of children? No. Probably not, right? Sorry. Well, don't tell me that. No, open my, no, open my house, you know. Because I don't, I don't live with you. Thank God. But I wouldn't put up with it. Okay. I'm gonna be punching out windows. Do you have anything in here? Like, do you have a towel in here? What? No. You, no. If we were, if we were to call. You want to hold that open for me, Jerry? Yeah. Clean it right now. No. Okay. I understand. Ma'am, you know, okay. There's all kinds of gnats flying around in here. This is. Okay, listen to me. Listen to me. This is a safety issue for these kids. No. Okay. That's what my mom said. I've got to clean it. We got bugs flying around here. We got gnats everywhere. Um, we got food. We have got. Right now. Oh Silverware. Um, this stuff looks like it's been here for months and months. This is pretty, pretty nasty. Uh, this is disease ridden. <laughs> um, and you can lose your children over stuff like this. This is not a way to live here. It's been here for quite some time. Okay. There is no excuse for this. Okay. Okay. I'll tell you what. What's your name? I'm gonna have my mom okay. Come and get him. No, it's fine. What, what? I'll tell you what. Okay. I'm gonna have her come and get him until I get him. Okay. Listen, 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 okay. Us. Okay. Listen. Okay. What's your name? What's your first name? Sabrina. Okay. Sabrina, you're gonna have that kitchen cleaned up. I'm going in there right now. Okay. Okay. You know why? Because DHS could come in right now and take these kids away as just Hello. like that. That is no way to live. Okay. That is no way to live. Hello. Okay, that's pretty bad for these kids. He's been yelling at me okay. for it. No, He's been okay. He's yelling at me for it. <laughs> okay. But it just got so dirty, I don't want to go in there. That's disgusting. No. How long has it been like that? It's okay, guys. Come here. The bugs just got there. Well. You're all right. You're all right. You know, you got a piece of pizza laying here. You, you just know. Ate okay. Just all right. All right. Ago. I don't want to see your kids getting taken away from you. Okay. It you doesn't seem... have to be like Mr. Clean, does it? No. No. Because <laughs> I, I can't get a Mr. Clean. I'm sorry. It wasn't right. clean when I moved in here. Well, we're gonna have to clean it up. <laughs> all right. You guys have enough problems here with with this tonight, with the kitchen. These kids will be taken away like that. All right. I'm the, gonna the... have my mom come get them for tonight. Okay. That's probably a good idea. Okay. Oh, You're fine. Stop. Mommy's got to clean the kitchen or you will have to go live someplace else. Okay. Okay? Ma'am. Go in to clean it right now. Yep. Ma'am, we're going to get out of here, okay? Like I said, you work with me and I'll work for you. All right? Make sure you get that cleaned because we will be back tomorrow. If it's not clean by tomorrow, we will turn you in, okay? We're going to give you 24 hours, okay? Get this cleaned up. There's no excuse. That's pretty bad, okay? All right. Well, you know, people may not have a lot of money, but you can sure keep your kitchen clean.
the training that we received from the police department, uh, to me, enables me to be safe out here on the streets. And I take that training very seriously because at any time, at any given moment, you can be faced with a situation that can potentially be life-threatening to you. Just had a couple of our plainclothes officers who were on special detail call me and tell me that they had a uh, pickup truck in a cemetery up here. They think that uh, think that it might be involved in uh, the stripping of uh, some vehicles over here. So we're going to go assist them, see if we can help take the vehicle down. Um, we just start to roll, so we're going to roll on them and see if we can do a stop. Which way is he running to? I got two over here. No, no. All right, look, I'm a, Give me a hand. Look, he climbed the fence over there, watch him. Let it go, let it go. Let me show you. Let it go. It's a cigarette. Drop it. Drop it down. Okay. So you think he's still in here, right here? Okay. Yeah, he's still in here, I think. You see your hands? You see him? Yeah. Lay on your stomach. Get on your stomach. Here. Huh? Ma'am. He you is got? a friend of mine. Okay. He is truly a friend, right? All and right. I visit and I see. I am not a prostitute. I am not a hoe. Okay, we're well, little accused of being a prostitute now, like okay. that. And I see it. Is there anything illegal in the vehicle? No in your sir. purse, on your person? No, sir. No, sir. You Nothing me? illegal? No. no, sir. You search me? All right. Search me too. Lord, no. I, I just got out of we hospital. had him drive because. Yes, I just got out of the hospital, sir. Who was that guy that ran out? Okay, I got it. What's going on, man? What happened? Huh? Why'd you run? Why are you running through the woods? Scared of what? You're in a cemetery in a pickup truck with three people with your lights off. So tell me what happened. What you guys doing in the, in the dark back we're just, here? We're just coming the wrong road. We took the, he took the wrong road. And you, so you guys took the wrong road, decided to cut your lights off, sit back here in the back of a cemetery? In the dark? Remember, yeah. we didn't have the lights off. The, the door was open. Remember the door was open? We had the door open. And no, 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 no. Do me a favor. Come here, sir. Look, if you saw that, you saw the, the truck door was like open and the lights was on even. What happened to your leg? I, I got a guy in the hospital yesterday. Yeah. OK, you sit down. Take her, take her over there, somebody. Somebody, right. please, yeah, thank you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I, got, I got stitches all the way up to here. OK, tell me, what, tell me why you guys are uh, in the back of the cemetery. Yeah, just, uh, just pull up the back. We was coming uh, down through there. We took the wrong road. OK, well, why are you guys apart with your lights off stopped here in the back of the cemetery? We, we just stopped right with we go shake the oil. We had to, you know, had to, uh, undo. to check we, the oil. We stay. Yeah, you had to. Yeah, you had to undo this hood. This hood has tied down. So you mean tell me you guys drove and got to the back, the back of this one way road? Yeah, I'm telling you the truth. We, did, we we took the wrong road, did we? Yeah. 1108 on ACI. I swear we did. And taking the wrong road makes you want to run. Well, I was just paranoid. I'll tell you the truth. I'm scared. I'm pretty sure she had some dirty eyes. I, I checked over there. I didn't see anything. It's probably about a hit or two. She threw something when we rolled up. Well, we're going to find out what, what you guys are back here doing. All right, she's working. He picked him up. He's just driving. Who, 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 who? You picked her up. She's a prostitute. She just told me you paid her, you're going to pay her 25 bucks for I sex. Didn't, I ain't, I ain't, no, she's telling a lie. 
No, which one am I supposed to believe, you or her? I don't know. You go you bring her over here, and I will. No, I, I've talked to her. She's told me the facts. I didn't. I didn't pick her up. We were just right, no. What's reason. her name? I don't. I have no idea. With a girl that you don't know? I don't that's know. That's telling me that you just paid her twenty-five bucks. I didn't pay her 20, twenty-five bucks. I yeah. Got, I ain't got twenty-five cents. <laughs> okay, Parker. I don't, I don't have here's, here's the deal. Cent. I know what's going on. You know what's going on. I, did, I have nothing. You don't have 25 cents now. I yeah, because she's got the $25. <laughs> I don't have 20. I didn't have 25. Did I? Nah, I ain't have <laughs> okay. I ain't got no money. Okay. I ain't well, had we'll no let, money. We'll let the courts figure it out. Man, I live, I live, I, I live on, on uh, I, I'm disabled. Disabled, man. Damn. Whose truck? It's my truck. Your truck? Yeah. I, I don't know what the hell she's talking about. <laughs> I ain't giving no damn twins. I ain't oh, yeah. Yeah. Copy. What's your name, sir? My name? Yes, sir. Gerald. All right, essentially what we got is he picked her up over in Cobb County mm -hmm. to come down here, pay $25 um, in alcohol to have sex with the old guy here in the park. Um, so we got her for prostitution, him for um, pimping, South Carolina, all in. Zero, zero, seven, pandering, four, zero, six, the driver, five, three, three. I'm sure he's going to have a suspended license and probably want it out of... Okay, well, seems like a pretty good lick. Still can't figure out why they just chose to come to a cemetery. Cemetery of all places. <laughs> Okay, we'll still send a code three. 